You've been lied to. For decades, museums, movies, even your school textbooks have told you the same story, that Tyrannosaurus rex was the most terrifying predator to ever walk the earth. The king of the dinosaurs, the unstoppable apex predator, the one monster that ruled them all. But what if that was never true? What if the so-called king was overrated? Because buried deep in fossil beds across South America, North Africa, and even Europe, paleontologists have uncovered monsters so enormous, so violent, so utterly alien, that T-Rex would have been nothing more than their appetizer. And here's the kicker. These are not myths, not movie monsters, not exaggerations. These are real animals, real fossils, real nightmares that once walked this planet. From the swamps of Cretaceous Morocco, to the windswept plains of Argentina, to the ancient rivers of Egypt, scientists are realizing something chilling. T-Rex may not have even cracked the top three. And tonight, you're going to meet them. Stay with me, because by the end of this story, you will never look at dinosaurs, or what we think we know about them, the same way again. Let's start with how T-Rex got its crown. The year was 1902, Montana. Paleontologist Barnum Brown unearthed a giant predator unlike anything seen before. A skull nearly five feet long, banana-sized teeth serrated like steak knives, a body stretching over 40 feet. When Henry Fairfield Osborne named it Tyrannosaurus Rex in 1905, the world went wild. Newspapers called it the King of Tyrant Lizards. It was, at the time, the biggest predator ever discovered. And here's where the snowball started. Hollywood picked it up. Museums built entire exhibits. In 1993, Jurassic Park made Rexy the star of cinema. Before long, T-Rex wasn't just a dinosaur. It was an icon. But science doesn't freeze in time. Since the early 2000s, fossil hunters and paleontologists have uncovered evidence that completely rewrites the story. So let me ask you, if I told you there was a dinosaur longer than two buses, heavier than two elephants stacked, and faster than a sprinting horse, would you still put T-Rex at the top? Enter Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. Its story begins in 1912, when German paleontologist Ernst Stromer uncovered fossils in Egypt's Bahariya oasis. He described a massive predator with strange elongated spines, like a sail running down its back. But then, disaster. In 1944, during a bombing raid on Munich, Stromer's fossils were destroyed. For decades, Spinosaurus was little more than a rumor. Fast forward to 2014. In Morocco's Kem Kem beds, paleontologists uncovered new fossils, vertebrae, limb bones, skull fragments, and what they revealed shook the scientific world. Spinosaurus wasn't just bigger than T-Rex, it was much bigger, up to 59 feet long. That's 10 feet longer than the largest T-Rex. And weighing seven to nine tons, it rivaled two African elephants. But the true nightmare? Spinosaurus wasn't just a land predator, it was a swimmer. A 2020 study published in Nature revealed dense limb bones adaptations for buoyancy control, just like modern crocodiles. Its tail, discovered in Morocco, was broad and paddle-like, perfect for propulsion through water. Imagine a crocodile stretched to the size of a bus with a sail on its back. Its snout was long and narrow, lined with 64 conical teeth perfect for gripping slippery prey. Stomach content fossils revealed remains of sawfish, coelacanths, and lungfish, but it didn't stop at fish. Bite marks on juvenile dinosaurs prove it came ashore to terrorize land animals too. So while T-Rex was stomping across North America, Spinosaurus was lurking in the rivers of North Africa, an apex predator of two worlds. If you're keeping score, that's one nightmare scarier than Rex. Next stop, Patagonia, Argentina. The year was 1,993. A car mechanic and amateur fossil hunter, Ruben Carolini, stumbled upon a giant bone while driving his truck near Villa El Chocon. What he had found would rewrite paleontology. Giganotosaurus carolinii, this monster stretched 43 feet long, and weighed over eight tons, its skull even bigger than T-Rex's. And unlike Spinosaurus, this beast wasn't a swimmer, it was a runner. Biomechanical studies in 2017 suggested Giganotosaurus could sprint at nearly 31 miles per hour. That's faster than Usain Bolt. Now, here's where it gets terrifying. Evidence from New Cane Province shows multiple Giganotosaurus individuals found near the remains of Argentinosaurus, the largest land animal to ever live. Yes, you heard that right. Giganotosaurus hunted Argentinosaurus, a 100-foot-long, 70-ton titan. But how? Paleontologists believe they hunted in packs, working together like lions do today. Imagine three bus-sized predators circling the largest herbivore in history, targeting the weak and the young, striking with precision. So ask yourself, would you rather face one T-Rex or three Giganotosaurus working together? Now we head back to North Africa. In 1924, 
French paleontologists unearthed colossal jaws in Algeria. Lined with serrated teeth, they named the beast Carcarodontosaurus, meaning shark-toothed lizard. And for good reason. Its teeth resembled those of the great white shark, razor sharp, serrated like saw blades, designed not just to bite, but to slice through flesh. This predator reached 45 feet long and weighed up to 7 tons. Fossil evidence shows its bite marks on sauropod bones, meaning it attacked prey several times its own size. Picture this, biting into a steak with a bread knife. That's how Carcharodontosaurus ate. Every chomp left shredded wounds, gaping lacerations, no animal could survive. Scientists believe it could open its jaws nearly 80 degrees, wide enough to swallow a human whole without chewing. So while T-Rex was a bone crusher, Carcharodontosaurus was a butcher. Back to Argentina. The year 1997, a joint Argentine-Canadian team uncovered something extraordinary in Noiken province. Not one skeleton, not two, seven. Seven individuals of a new predator, buried together. They named it Mapusaurus rosier, earth lizard. At 41 feet long and five tons, Mapusaurus was already a nightmare, but its real terror was teamwork. The mass grave suggests coordinated pack hunting, think wolves, but each the size of a bus. And their favorite prey? Once again, Argentinosaurus. Let me ask you, how do you kill a creature that weighs 100 tons? Answer, you hunt it with six of your closest friends. In North America, T-Rex ruled alone. But in South America, the throne belonged to Mapusaurus and his deadly pack. Now, before the T-Rex fans stormed the comments, let's be fair. T-Rex was terrifying. It had the strongest bite force of any land predator in history. 12,800 pounds per square inch, that's enough to crush a car door like a soda can. But here's the twist. Studies suggest T-Rex wasn't very fast, maybe 12 miles per hour. Compare that to Giganotosaurus at 31, or Spinosaurus ruling both land and water, or Mapusaurus hunting in packs. And while Rex reigned in North America, it never faced rivals like the monsters of Africa and South America. The truth is, calling T. Rex the scariest dinosaur ever is like calling a heavyweight boxer the most dangerous fighter while ignoring tanks, fighter jets, and nuclear weapons. So, why were we lied to? Simple, T-Rex was discovered first. It became famous first. It was easier to market. And let's be honest, it makes for great movies. Jurassic Park didn't want a dinosaur with a sail or a shark-toothed giant nobody could pronounce. They wanted a star. But science isn't about what sells. It's about what's real. And the truth is, the prehistoric world was far scarier than Hollywood ever told you. So next time someone says, T-Rex, the king of the dinosaurs, remember this. Remember Spinosaurus, lurking in the rivers of Morocco, longer than a bus, half crocodile, half nightmare. Remember Giganotosaurus, sprinting across Patagonia, faster than a racehorse, hunting the largest creature ever to walk the earth. Remember Carcharodontosaurus, the butcher, with jaws like a saw. And remember Mapusaurus, hunting in coordinated packs, taking down prey no single predator could. The king? Maybe. The scariest? Not even close. Now, let me ask you, if these monsters still roam the earth today, who would you fear the most? 